Hello, my name is Gabriel Benitez and I am with Video Devices. We are here at CCW and we are displaying our line of PIX-E field recording monitors. We have uh, three models on display, uh, two five-inch models and one seven-inch model. And the five-inch models are called E5 and E5H. The differences between the five-inch models is that the E5H has HDMI only inputs and outputs, and the E5 has both SDI and HDMI inputs and outputs. The seven-inch is obviously seven-inch display, and SDI and HDMI inputs and outputs as well. The E5 and the E5Hs, due to their size, were developed for smaller format cameras. So if you look at the E5H, uh, it's more fit for DSLR cameras that do not have SDI connections. However, the E5 has both SDI and HDMI, and you can use that on not only DSLR cameras, but you can also use it on uh, medium-sized cameras as well, so you can think about you know, C100, and FS100, and AVX200, and those types of cameras as well. So, in addition to the field recording monitors, uh, we have this accessory called the PIX-LR, and it adds two additional uh, channels of analog audio recording. It has uh, XLR inputs and outputs uh, that can support mic line level, uh, ends. There's phantom power for condenser microphones. You have two really nice sound devices microphone preamps. And in addition, you get transport controls and VU meters uh, to obviously monitor your audio levels. What's new at the show is a new firmware called version 110 that we are showing at the show. It's not released yet. And this new firmware uh, is going to add a couple of really cool features and without letting all you know, the whole cat out of the bag, the biggest things that I think that are really important here are uh, 4K support over uh, 6G SDI connection. Uh, we're doing 3-2 pull down, and we're also doing linear time code in through what was previously used as a uh, 3.5 millimeter connection line level input that can also be used to get uh, external linear time code in. So uh, the current version only allows you to get time code in over SDI. This version is gonna allow you to get time code in over SDI. And if you're using HDMI inputs, then you can get your time code in through the 3.5 millimeter jack. So that's pretty clever as well. Uh, in addition, there's also a new feature on the LUT that allows you to uh, turn the LUT feature on and off and the SDI output follows the LUT. So that's also a very cool feature. An important feature to note is that we use non-proprietary media. This is what this closed speed drive looks like, and this is what an open speed drive look, looks like. We have inside an off-the-shelf MSATA chip. The important thing to note is that this circuitry by video devices uh, does a very clever conversion. When this is inserted into Pixie, the write and read speeds are that of the drive. And when this is removed from Pixie and inserted into a computer, this circuitry does the conversion and the transfer speed to the computer is USB 3. Another great feature that's coming out in version 110 is the rewind and fast forward uh, controls. So as you can see here on the display, you have rewind and you have fast forward and you do not need the Pixel R to take advantage of those features. Uh, so that's it. In summary, uh, we have Pixie E5s, E5Hs, the E7s, which is uh, expected uh, late this year uh, to be released. And uh, finally, the new firmware 110. So thank you very much. For more information, please visit videodevices.com.